we're loading up our yurt from the shipping trucks. Say hi, babe. Hi, babe. <laughs> but of course, we're sitting in our very first real monsoon. Uh, so far, it's kind of epic. It's beautiful and cool and you know, like it. I mean, look at that sky. It's kind of awesome. And then there's blue sky right there. It's nice because it definitely breaks up the heat and the dust, which is great. I think Violet's a fan too. We're getting the yurt. We're having our first legitimate monsoon of the year. The guys are kind of struggling with how to get this out of the truck. Because look at how big that beast is. I'm really hoping they don't drop it. So right now we have three guys and the husband watching. Kiddos are a little tired of being in the car. Hi, Ronan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to be too shaky. <laughs> so we rented a flatbed trailer. We purposely rented one that has um, a lift option. Violet, enough. So that way when we get it home, we can get it back off of the trailer. <laughs> So there's one more crate after this. This is the bulk of it. The other one is... No, Violet, sit in your seat, please. The other one is very long, so we're going to have to put it up on top of that one to get it home. Violet, I'm taking a video, sweetheart. Don't. Stop, please. Don't. Don't. On there. Okay, so here's the second crate, and they looks like they've got to chain it to get it out of there. That's pretty intense. So this whole year thing is not for the faint of heart. Look at my poor drenched husband. Look at him. You see him? Totally soaking wet. And look, the kiddos, trying to keep the kiddos occupied. <laughs> I'm Violet. You are Violet. I'm Princess and Beautiful. You're Princess and Beautiful? Yeah. It's true. So they got it kind of centered on their trailer. Let's see if we can get this thing actually on there. Okay, so they decided to put it on the side and not on top. Uh, I sound funny because my son is trying to attack my face. And, and it's raining too with it. 
It is. It's raining. What's crazy is in like half an hour, it's going to be well over 100 degrees again. Mm. Awfully glad they plastic wrapped that beast. Mommy, look on the back. Ah, I want to shoot that. Good job, guys. So we've, now we've got both the crates loaded. What? Pretty excited. Down. This is our beast. I don't know if you guys can see how monstrously large this thing is. I'm going to turn it sideways. Look at that. Truck to yurt. That thing's kind of a beast. But it's on there. So we just got the yurt on the trailer. And of course, now it's not raining at all. See that? Ridiculous. It's kind of crazy. Because this is like the culmination of just crazy talk. You know, like all those things you sit down and you chat about with your family and your friends and you're like, you know, it would be so cool living off grid and building a yurt and da 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 and, and, and living off the land and, and it's right there. It's right there. Like that's, that's kind of the deal. Uh, no pressure. Anyway. Uh, pretty excited. I'll uh, shoot a little bit more video once we get home. I'm sure I'm going to have a little bit more of an emotional moment when we get home and it's actually like on our property. It's just kind of crazy. Anyway, just thought I would show you. Not a drop. No mas. Hey guys. So we went and picked up the yurt today and got it back home safe and sound. Um, we are using the plywood floor as the flooring. We just need to sand it and we're using a propane blowtorch to actually burn the flooring. Um, what it does is it show it basically is like a super stain and it allows all of the um, natural grain of the wood to show and then we'll end up lacquering it um, but the first step for us right now is to get it sanded and the sander's not working which really sucks because it messes up our timeline because we are going to try and start the actual yurt raising tomorrow so it's almost dark and our floor is not sanded or blowtorched like it should be. So I'm gonna have to get up super early tomorrow and go to the rental place and get them to exchange it or something and fix it so that we can get um, we can get the flooring done because you definitely don't want a blowtorch inside of a yurt. Uh, tonight, after the kids go to bed, we're going to sit down with all the instructions and really try and get our heads wrapped around exactly what steps we're taking tomorrow, which is crazy. Um, I'll post these few videos of the pickup and of getting it here, and then tomorrow will be stage one of the build, which is crazy. Uh, I hope everybody had a great week. Um, monsoons are amazing. They're like my favorite thing because it took the temperature from like 100 degrees down to like 80 and it's the cloud cover is beautiful and the sunset is extraordinary and it just got a little bit of rain a little bit of water on the ground so it's not so dusty um definitely my favorite thing so far but i love everybody hope you're having a wonderful night and i'll post some videos of the art raising in the next couple days yay have a great day